Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is May 31st, 2018. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, looking at the S&P 500 E-mini futures here, you'll see the futures are trading higher by a point and three quarters to 27.25, uh, 27.26 and a quarter per contract. All in all, the futures are holding the gains from yesterday, and we'll see how it plays out today. Right now, market still remains uh, somewhat in an uptrend from yesterday on the smaller time frames. So again, we'll see how today's geopolitical news shakes things up a bit. Tomorrow, we do look forward to the non-farm payroll report here in the U.S. All right, let's get started. We have lots of stocks in the news. First one we're going to take a look at today is going to be BOX Box. And what you're going to see here is the stock is trading at 26.37. They reported earnings. It closed at 27 dollars and 78 cents yesterday so we got a little bit of down ticking we did have some more downside action but the stock has come back a little bit we'll be looking at this one in the intraday stock chat room if the stock gets down to around 2240 i like the equity there for an intraday bounce so keep it on the radar again 2240 is the level i've worked out so far if it gets down to 2140 there's also a 200 day moving average there i'm not sure it's going to get there but it very well could and we'll keep it on the radar the next one we're going to take a look at here is guess jeans or guess inc as it's called now stock is trading at 24 dollars and 45 cents uh all in all this is basically right where it closed did have some action after hours yesterday but it's right back to unchanged at the moment so we'll leave this one alone we'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings there's not much i'm looking to do a guess right off the bat here but it could be in play today let's take a look at pvh I believe this is also an earnings report. Stock right now is trading at 155.65, closed at 155.50. So very little movement there. We'll look at this one once the opening bell rings. I do see a lot of support around the 148.75 level. If it gets there, not sure it will get down to that area, but we'll keep it on the radar. Let's take a look at another one here: American Eagle Outfitters (AEO). Stock right now is trading at 22.55, closed at 22.61. So all in all, I don't. Think there's a whole lot to do here but again this could be in play today as so let's just keep it on the radar and we'll see where we go from there here's a big one today that everyone should be watching dltr which is dollar tree stock is getting hammered closed at 96 dollars and 35 cents it is now trading at 88 dollars and 34 cents i'm going to have levels ready for this one in the intraday stock chat room they'll be posted up right at 9 a.m same uh, same business industry. Let's take a look at Dollar General. So that was Dollar Tree. Here we got Dollar General. This is trading down at $89.85, closed at $96.52. So another haircut here. Dollar stores are getting hit pretty hard today. So again, you want to watch all these dollar stores. You might even want to take a look at five below today. Not doing much, but right now down ticking just a little bit. Let's take a look here at Sienna, C-I-E-N. If you traded in the 90s, you definitely know this stock. Traded all the way down to 22 bucks earlier, now back to 24, closed at 24.06. So again, we're not going to look to do too much with this name at the moment, but we will keep it on the radar. Let's take a look at Burlington Stores, B-U-R-L is ticker symbol here. Stock is trading at 143.70, closed at 136.53. This is a good pop for the stock. We'll see where it goes. Um, it's a new all-time high, and the stock's only been around since late 2013. So again, not much to do here yet, but we'll keep it on the radar. If you own it, trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, leave it alone at the moment. Let's take a look at General Motors. It looks like SoftBank is investing $2.5 billion in them. That is a good pop for GM this morning. Stock uh, closed at $37.83. It is now trading at $41.80. So this is a very, very good move for General Motors. Again, there's going to be some resistance right around this 42 level. But again, maybe the stock got a little bit more in it. I'm not 100% sure. We'll look at this one once the opening bell rings. Again, SoftBank investing $2.5 billion into General Motors. Let's take a look at Express. Ticker symbol is EXPR. Stock right now is trading at $9.85. Closed at $9.16. This went all the way to 1080 and has pulled back, but it is still positive on the day. I don't think there's much to do with Express at the moment, but it is still up decently ahead of the opening bell, so we'll be watching that. 
Corning is in play today. It looks like this got upgraded by Morgan Stanley. Stock is trading at $26.92. That's a good little pop there. We'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings. I am seeing very good resistance today around $28.30 if it does get there. I want to talk quickly about the steel stocks. President Trump is ready to let the steel uh, tariffs expire. So again, we'll see how that... Uh, We'll see, he's getting ready to let the uh, exemptions expire. So that is giving a big pop to many of the steel names here in the U.S. U.S. Steel getting a little bit of a move. Stock closed at 36.25, now trading at 37.75. Take a look at New Core Steel. That is up around 65.50 here, closed at 64.10. So they're all up a little bit. Alcoa, aluminum name, uh, that is trading at 49.65, closed at 48.54. Uh, you have another one here with uh, CENX. This is Century Aluminum. This is also upticking at 1770, closed at 1715. So again, um, <clears throat> that is up on the tariff news. And again, President Trump is ready to let the exemptions expire and kick those tariffs back in. So we'll see how that plays out today. It's going to be a fun-filled day. We have lots and lots of action out here uh, already in the pre-market. So get ready. Uh, we should have a pretty good uh, pretty good trading day overall. If you haven't done so, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You can trade right alongside of us. We're having a great 2018. Going to look to keep that going into the end of the year. Let's take a look here at the gold market. Gold futures right now trading down just 16, uh, 60 cents to 1305.90. If you take a look at the GLD, uh, that right now is trading at 123.34, basically right where it closed yesterday. Crude oil today is lower by 78 cents. So crude right now trading down, make that 80 cents, 80 cents lower to $67.41 a barrel. If you take a look at the USO, which is a good ETF to track the movement in crude oil, that's trading down at around 1364, closed at 1383 yesterday. So you have gold down just a touch. You have crude oil down about 1%. And um, again, lots of stocks out here today in the marketplace. Futures right now higher by a point. We'll see how today plays out. And once again, if you haven't done so, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You could trade right alongside of us. With that being said, everybody, have a great trading day, and we'll see you on the charts.